Meghan and Samantha's father, Thomas Markle, appeared on GB News on Tuesday. He told presenter Dan Wooten that he would visit the UK for the Queen's Platinum Jubilee later this year, in hopes that his grand gesture would allow him to reunite with his estranged daughter, having felt ghosted by the Duchess and her husband, Prince Harry. It is understood that Meghan and Thomas have not been in contact since the royal wedding almost four years ago. Thomas decided not to attend the Duke and Duchess nuptials at St. George's Chapel, Windsor, telling TMZ at the time that he didnt want to embarrass the royal family or his daughter. Meghan's father also suffered from a heart attack shortly before the big day. Since then, Thomas has spoken to the media multiple times, often criticizing both Meghan and Harry. He has previously insisted that he will not stop until the Duchess speaks to him. Despite having a reportedly strained relationship at present, Meghan and her father once had a close bond, a bond that Meghan's half-sister, Samantha, was allegedly jealous of. In her new book, The Palace Papers, Inside the House of Windsor, The Truth and the Turmoil, Tina Brown claims that Samantha was curdled with jealousy when Meghan was born. Ms. Brown claimed, when gorgeous, golden Meghan was born, Tom was so besotted with her that Samantha felt even more displaced and unattractive, like a pair on stilts, as she described her appearance. She became curdled with jealousy, the bad fairy at the christening of the serenely sleeping future princess. She added, over the years, her resentment only grew when her father forked over money from the tight budget to send Meghan to a series of private schools. It was a bitter blow when her radiant half-sister's career took off shortly after Samantha learned she had developed multiple sclerosis. The half-sisters are seemingly still at odds, with Samantha having recently attempted to sue the Duchess. Last month, she filed a lawsuit against Meghan for allegedly lying in her tell-all interview with US chat show host, Oprah Winfrey. The lawsuit was described as baseless and absurd by the Duchess attorney, Michael Kumpf, at the time. He said, we will give it the minimum attention necessary, which is all it deserves. Meghan and Harry had stepped down from their roles as senior royals and moved to North America in 2021. Sitting down with Oprah, the Sussexes opened up on their major life change, saying that a lack of support from the firm contributed to their decision to leave. The Duchess also spoke about her family, saying that she didn't really know her half-sister. Speaking about Samantha, she said, I don't feel comfortable talking about people that I really don't know. I grew up as an only child, which everyone who grew up around me knows, and I wished I had siblings. I would have loved to have had siblings. Meghan also referenced Samantha's book, The Diary of Princess Pushy's Sister Part 1, saying, I think it would be very hard to tell all when you don't know me. This is a very different situation. For betrayal comes from people you have a relationship with. The suit Salem later questioned why Samantha changed her last name, saying, she changed her last name back to Markle in her early 50s, only when I started dating Harry. So, I think that says enough. In her lawsuit, Samantha accused Meghan of discussing her, falsely and maliciously, in order to damage and discredit her and her published autobiography. According to the court documents, Samantha is attempting to sue for actual damages in the form of lost employment, lost income from sales of her autobiography, emotional and mental distress, including anxiety and fear due to the threatening and violent emails and messages she receives regularly, and harm to her reputation and credibility. However, on Monday, Samantha's lawsuit against her half-sister appeared to hit a roadblock when her lawyer, Douglas Carl, requested that a Florida federal court allow him to withdraw from the case. Mr. Carl cited irreconcilable differences and fundamental disagreements regarding various aspects of this case and the strategy moving forward, as the reason for his request. In a post on social media platform Getter, Samantha responded to a user's question about whether her lawyer had dropped her as a client, saying that it was she that initiated the separation. The Palace Papers, Inside the House of Windsor, The Truth and the Turmoil was written by Tina Brown and published by Century. You can find it here.